Namaste. I always say that we are our best teacher at the end of the, end of the day. Uh, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, and even if you're not sure, practicing on our mats serves as a tool for us to realize what, we're, what our strengths and weaknesses are. For example, for me, my hips are relatively tight, and I have a relatively flexible back. So my weaknesses are in my hips, strengths in my back and my core. And again, that's just an example. But when we are aware of where our strengths and limitations may be, we can then make the appropriate adjustments in our practice, and not just in our practice, but in our lives as well. We can make the choices that will really optimize uh, the benefits that we can receive from whatever we're doing. And so today, again, I invite you to make choices that are most optimal for you, whether that means skipping a posture or going deeper into a posture or using blocks, blankets, and blocks and blankets, props in general, um, can do both. They can either help you help support the posture or help you go deeper into it as well. And again, if you're not sure, um, just follow along and then just observe what comes up. It's like, oh, okay, my right side is a lot stronger than my left side, so perhaps I'll stretch my right side more. Or vice versa, my left side is generally tighter, and so I'll, maybe I'll hang out there for a few more breaths. These are just some examples. So again, listen to yourself. As many teachers say, listen to your body. And that's the practice. And with that said, let's begin. We'll start in Virasana, hero's pose. So come onto your knees, separate your heels so you can sit between your heels. Okay, And then right away, adjust. So if your knees are saying, no, 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 not right now, it's too early, you can place a block or a blanket, you can even place two blocks underneath your hips. But just make sure the knees are touching, get this internal rotation of the hips. And we'll start with three cleansing breaths. Inhale, fill up belly, ribs, chest. Open your mouth, exhale. Again, inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. And last, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Now keep your lips sealed. Breathe in and out through your nose. Start to create a whispering sound with your breath. Ujjayi. Allow your breath to be your compass, your teacher, for at least this session, hopefully beyond. <laughs> so long as you can hear your breath, no matter what posture you're in, you are victorious. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist towards your right side. Turn towards you. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. One more inhale. And exhale, release, switch to the left side, twist, look over left shoulder, stay with the breath. Last inhale. And exhale, release, downward facing dog. Roll over your knees, plant your palms, and then step or jump your feet to the back, stretch your legs. And start by pedaling one leg, bending the other. Just taking inventory of what's present in your physical body, what feels strong, what feels open, or the opposite. Good, and then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Look forward, and then walk your hands, or your feet rather, behind your hands, ragdoll at the top of your mat. Let's interlace our fingers at the nape of our neck, so the back of our neck, and hang heavy. Decompressing your spine, release through your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. Being mindful of your breath. 
One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Toe heel, your big toes to touch. A little space between the heels. Inhale, halfway lift through your spine. And then exhale, fold back down. Tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine as you slowly roll up to stand. Inhale, take your time. At the top, exhale. Samasthi Tahi, roll your shoulders back. Draw your hands to your heart center. Inhale for Aum. Aum. Suri Namaskar. A, Sun A. Inhale, Mountain Pose. Reach your hands wide and up. Touch your palms. Look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Empty your breath. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, low plank. You can always skip or modify, use your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high. One breath. Good. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, bend your knee, stack your right hip over the left for scorpion dog. Notice your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders in line, your right shoulders in line with the left. And then explore your hips. Inhale, three-legged dog. We extend your right heel, level off the hips. And then exhale, step your foot between your palms, lower down to your back knee, untuck your toes. You can use a blanket if your dog isn't laying on it <laughs> underneath your knee. And then just sink the hips. Getting a good stretch in the front of your left hip. And good. Make any adjustments as needed. And then inhale. Think cow pose. Sink your hips. Send your chest forward. Maybe look up. And then exhale. Half splits. Lengthen your right leg. Flex your ankle. Toes towards your face. Breath to movement. Inhale. Bend your knees, sink your hips, maybe look up. Exhale, half splits. It's almost like you're dragging your right heel back. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. You can also use blocks under your hands. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Good, re-bend your front knee. Plant your palms and then step back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then we switch to the other side. Lift your left leg, three-legged dog to start. As you exhale, bend your knee, stack your left hip over the right for scorpion. Okay, you can bend, extend the knee, exploring your hips, stretch with the breath. Inhale, three-legged dog, re-extend your left heel, level off the hips. Exhale, step your foot between your palms. Lower your back knee, untuck the toes. You can use blanket if you have one. <laughs> and then sink your hips. Keeping the breath as full as it was when we were in hero's pose. And then we'll move into vinyasa. Sink your hips, send your chest forward. Broaden the collarbones. Maybe look up. Inhale. Exhale. Half splits. Lengthen your left leg. Flex your ankle. Keep your spine long. Breath to movement. Inhale. Sink your hips. Look up. Cow pose. Exhale. Fold over your legs. Empty the breath. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Rebend your knee, plant your palms, downward facing dog, stretch your legs. Good, good. And then walk your hands to the back of your mat. Toe you heel, your big toes to touch, and then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach wide and up, touch your palms, look up. Samastitihi, exhale. Good. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Bend your knees. Sit your hips back. And at the same time, reach your arms up. Keep breathing here. Feet can be hip-width distance. The 
the wider your feet are, the more support for your back. Otherwise, you can draw your big toes to touch. Find a little more outer hip engagement, inner thighs working. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Lean your chest forward, and then twist over to your right side for prayer twist. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Look over right shoulder. Now notice your knees. Normally the left knee will tend to want to jot forward. Gently guide your knees back, and then hug the inner thighs. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to release and twist. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Toe heel your big toes, hip width distance if they're not already. And then take Padahastasana, hands to feet pose. Slide your hands underneath your feet. You can bend your knees as much as you need to really get your hands all the way under. And then slowly straighten the backs of your legs as you bend your elbows. Gaze to the tip of your nose, fully exhale. Receive a nice stretch in the backs of your wrists or on your wrists. One more breath. Good. Inhale, halfway lift through the spine. And then exhale, release your hands. Option to keep your feet hip width distance. Option to toe heel your big toes to touch. And then come up into chair pose once again. Utkatasana. Good. Exhale. Draw your hands to your heart center. Lean your chest forward. And then prayer twist to your left side. Hook your right elbow outside of left knee. Look over left shoulder. Again, notice the hips. Notice the knees want to twist. Stabilize by keeping them in line and squeezing. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Release. One more. Inhale. And exhale, release, fold over your feet. Inhale, halfway lift through your spine. Exhale, fold back down. Mountain pose, inhale, rise up tall. Samastitihi, exhale. Warrior one, step your right leg forward. I'm mirroring you, so I'm stepping my left leg forward. But step your right leg forward. Keep your back heel rooted and then reach your arms above your head. Okay, front knee over your front ankle and try to work to square your hips forward. You don't need to be perfectly square, just working towards. Almost like you're rolling your inner right, left thigh, left thigh up and back. Option to keep your gaze forward or option to look up towards your hands here for one. Two, feel the strength of your leg. And three, warrior two. Keep your front knee where it is and just widen your stance. Now the hips square towards the long side of your mats. Look beyond your right fingers. Energetically hug your hips in towards each other, your heels rather. And then inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Extend your spine forward. Lower your hand down either onto a block, the earth, or you can place your elbow on your knee. Extend your left hand over your ear and look up for one. Stretch through your left side. Two. And three. Inhale, rise back up. Let's do star pose. Heels and toes out. Shake it out. <laughs> and then exhale. Point your toes in towards each other. Draw your hands to your hips. Inhale. Exhale, fold over your legs. Prasarita Paratanasana. You can place a block underneath your hands or your head. Keep your hands on your hips if you can. Here for one. Keep lifting the sit bones. Two. Fully exhales. And three. Inhale. Rise up to stand. And then step or jump to your feet together. Samasitihi. Good. Let's so return to the back of the mat once again. And this time, step your left leg forward. For me, the right. <laughs> Bend your knee. Square the hips. Again, just feeling the sensation rather than aiming for perfection. Front knee over your ankle. An option to keep your gaze straight or 
Look up. Touch your palms. For one. Keep your arms straight. Two. Keep reaching up towards the sky. And three. Warrior two. Front knee stays where it is. Just open your hips out to the side. Slide your stance slightly wider. Very good. Front knee is no more or less past the ankle. And look beyond your left fingertips. Energetically hug your heels in to lift through your spine. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Reach your spine forward and lower your left hand either onto block, mat, or you can place your elbow on your knee. Extend your left hand over your ear and breathe for one. More weight on the length than the arm. Two, stretch through your right side. And three, inhale, rise up to star pose, heels and toes out, shake it out. I'm gonna face you. And then exhale, point your toes in. Let's take Prasadita Paratanasana C. Interlace your fingers behind you, chest expansion. You can also use a strap to find the bind. First start by taking inhale. And then exhale, fold over your legs. One, reach your knuckles away. Relax your shoulders. We'll be here five to six breaths. Two, Option for headstands if you'd like, or any other variations. Three, be with your breath. Four, do what you can. And five, return all the way down if you lift it up. Inhale, halfway lift through the spine. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale, rise up to stand and step or jump your feet to touch. Samasthi to here. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so now let's do balancing. I think I will, I don't have a strap handy. I'll use my sweater. We use what we can. We do what we can with what we have, right? Making appropriate accommodations. So you may or may not need a strap for this. I will demonstrate with it. So first start by leaning into your right leg. Mm -hmm. Have your strap handy in your hand. Lift your left knee in line with your hip, flex the ankle, and then place your strap underneath your left foot. Okay. Place the strap into your left hand and then hold using your left bicep. It's almost as if you're stepping with your left foot, like you're standing on both feet. Good. And everything I'm saying comes in layers. So choose whatever layers you can sustain. You can stay here or kick your heel forward. Reach as far forward onto your strap or sweatshirt. I have a flannel here. <laughs> whatever prop you have. If you can reach your foot, great. If not, also great. Pull your left shoulder back. Here for one. Kick and pull. Two. Maybe lift a little higher. And three. Receive your strap. Onto, into your right hand, and then open twist to the left side. Maybe look towards your left hand. For one, again, do what you can. Two, and three. First start by gazing back forward, and then undo the twist, and then release your foot. Actually, yeah, release your foot. <laughs> Let that go. And now let's do the other side. Get your strap, lean into your left leg, think mountain pose in your left side. As you lift your right knee, place the strap underneath your foot if you have it. Again, if you don't have a strap, that's okay. Place the strap or sweater or whatever you have into your right hand. And then again, you can stay here, focus on the balance. Or begin to straighten your leg, reach further down your strap. And pull your right shoulder back here for one. Kick and pull. Exhale, two. Maintain mountain in your left side. And three. Receive your strap or your leg into your left hand. And then open twist to the right side. If it's okay with your neck, look towards your right hand. Here for one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two. And three, first start by returning the gaze forward and then undo the twist and then release your foot down. Sweet.
<laughs> now let's stretch the front part of the hip. Or, yeah, let's stretch the front part of the hip using the strap. Again, if you had it, have it. Otherwise, you can do regular dancers. Actually, let's do regular dancers. Okay, so placing your right hand by your hip. I'm not mirroring you, so just listen to the side. Keeping the palm open, lower your hand down to your thigh. It's very important to keep the shoulder open. And then kick your right heel towards your booty. Receive the inside of your foot. Okay, we're focusing more on the stretch rather than getting into our deepest back bend. Reach your left hand up, and then this is it. This is dancer. You can stay here or begin to kick and pull. Release your right shoulder. Look forward to go forward rather than down. Look forward. Here for one, kick and pull, two, and three. Return knees back center, and then release what you have. Other side, on the left side, bend your elbow, serve the tray, imaginary tray. Keep the palm open as you lower your hand down to your thigh. Again, we want to keep this external rotation of the shoulder. Excuse me. <laughs> Lean into your right leg and then kick your left booty towards your kick your left heel towards your booty. <laughs> Draw your keeping the palm open, receive the inside of your foot, and then lift your right hand. You can always use a wall, a chair, any other prop to help you balance. And then this is it. Dancer, stay or kick and pull. Okay. Release your left shoulder here for one. Lock the belly in, kick. Two, look forward to go forward. And three, reverse, knees come back to touch. And then release the posture. Shake it out. <laughs> All right. So coming to the back of our mats, let's flow back down to the ground. As you inhale, reach your hands up, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift the spine. Exhale, walk your hands forward, lower down onto your knees, and then onto your belly. We'll do a few back bends here. First, starting with baby cobra. Separate your feet hip width distance or wider. The wider, the more space for your back. Hands under your shoulders, and then inhale, peel your chest off of your mat. Shoulders rolled back, broaden through your collarbones, keep breathing. Little to no in your hands. Keep stabilizing your feet, top of your feet to the mat. Inhale. And then exhale. Lower your left ear down. Gaze to the right. Fix your mic. <laughs> Release your hands by your side. Take a breath. Good, good. And then return your gaze back center. Second set of a back bend. You can either do the same. Oh, baby cobra, you can do high cobra, or if you feel up for it, danyarasana bow pose, floor bow. Receive either your ankles or the sides of your feet. And keep your inner thighs as if there's a block between your inner thighs. Squeeze hip width distance. Good, stay here or begin to kick and pull, lifting the chest, lifting the knees. Look up towards your nose, here for one. Release the shoulders, kick and pull, two. And three, release what you have. Lower your right ear, gaze to the left. Option to shim in the hip side to side. Option to windshield wiper. Release your back. Thank you, back. Good. And then find your way onto your back. Just flip yourself over like our favorite yoga, yogi pancakes we are. Right, Mojo? just sighed. He's like, whatever. <laughs> Finding your way onto your backs, take figure four. So bend your knees, cross your right ankle outside of your left knee, and receive the back of your left thigh. And you can use your right elbow to facilitate pushing your right knee away from you as you pull your left knee in, getting a stretch in, mainly our outer right hip. But observe where you feel the sensation. If you have a wall, you can kick into your left foot into the wall. Or just imagine 
You're kicking your left foot into the wall as you pull in. All right, and then keep the figure four sh sh um, shape in your legs. Plant your left foot down, and then lower your right foot to the left side. Watch out for your dog. <laughs> and a figure four sh uh, twist. Extend your right out, hand out, and an option to look over towards your right side. You can always place your foot on a block. You can always do a regular supine twist. Easy twist, just some sort of twist. Again, listen to what you need in every moment. And change, return, legs back center, hug your knees in, reset. And then stack your knees, cross your left ankle over your right this time, flex both feet, and then receive the back of your right thigh. You can use your left elbow to help push your left knee away as you pull your right knee in. So you create this oppositional effect to find the stretch and change. Deep breathing into the hips and the back. All right, keep the figure four shape in the legs, plant your right heel, and then lower your left foot over to the right side. Extend your left arm and look over if it's okay with your neck. In our yin postures, we receive more when we do less. So here, try to disengage as much as you can, only using exactly what you need right now. And return both legs back center, knees to chest, and then take happy baby Ananda Balasana. Receive the sides of your feet and stretch your hips. You can extend one or both legs, stretching our hamstrings. We got a good amount of hamstring stretches today, so take this time to relish in the space you've invited. And take about 30 seconds or so for any final postures your body's craving. If you'd like to do ball pose, you can do another twist, you can do a plow, shoulder stand. Or if you're ready, head into Shavasana, Supta Baddha Konasana. 15 more seconds. If you aren't already, begin to set up for your final Shavasana meditation rest. I like to place blocks underneath my shins. This helps alleviate pressure on my back and tailbone. You can also place pillows or a bolster under your knees. Blankets, maybe a towel or shirt over your eyes. Just make any adjustments, accommodations so you can rest and be comfortable. This is where we install all of the updates, as this is what my teacher Jurgen says. Shavasana, we install the updates of our practice. All of the postures, all of the choices we made were downloads, new programming. Do your best here to completely rest, relax, and receive. I'll leave you here in Shavasana. Please stay for at least a few minutes to integrate your practice. As always, thank you. And thanks to all our teachers and their teachers. The lineage of this practice, all it offers our lives and the lives around us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.